Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah guys, how are you guys doing? Today I'm bringing you guys a benefit and at the same time is a word that all beginner Arabic student has made or makes or is going to make a mistake using it. This word is the word abadan, abadan. When you look into the Arabic English dictionary, you will see that it says ever or never. And you know, it's not your fault to make a mistake in this because if you focus yourself on or you rely on the English Arabic dictionary all the time which I have told you in in multiple videos to not do that but rather to focus on the Arabic Arabic dictionary and when you don't understand the definitions given in the Arabic Arabic dictionary you rely on your teacher or you rely on somebody who is a Arabic speaker who has perhaps learned until native like fluency or perhaps he's a native already so this word the word abadan many beginning students they make the mistake and they use it as never yes it means never however you cannot use it as i am about to use it right now you cannot say for example lam azur makkata abadan trying to say i've never visited makkah you cannot use it like that rather you should use it in the future so abadan is for the future so you say for example ana lan akfura billahi abadan inshallah will never disbelieve in allah and i mean the future i'm referring to the future as for the past the way how you refer to the past when you want to say that you have never done something in the past, you use the word qattu. So you say, ma zurtu Mecca, qattu. And that means never, but in the past. So qattu is for the past, abadan is for the future. So that's the mistake that many beginner students make. And again, I want to emphasize on this, that when you focus so much on and rely so much on the Arabic English dictionary, you will make a lot of mistakes like this, where you just use what you have read exactly in the dictionary. And it's very very important that you learn through context and that you learn through texts already written and with a guide somebody that guides you through that text so like I always tell you guys and like I always suggest you if you guys want to take this on a more serious level and actually learn the Arabic language to a native speaker level go ahead and click the link in the description down below it will bring you to a page you can watch a very small presentation video about our methodology and how we achieve that in less than two years how we achieve native like fluency in less than two years and then you can book a call with us with anyone in the team inshallah and then we can see if it's a good fit for you if the program is a good fit for you or if it's not a good fit for you i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you have ever made this mistake before wassalamu alaikum warahmatullah